Hi Taurus, welcome to your quantum reading. <laughs> this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Message could be for you. Feel free to take it. However, it resonates with you and your <laughs> you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are interesting, um, general and timeless readings. If there is, oh yes, all information down below in the description box. Website link, um, my Instagram link is down there. You can follow me on Instagram if you would like to. And what was the other thing? Oh yes, I now have courses set up. You can check them out on my community board or again down below in the description box. But yeah, we've got a quantum, quantum master course that is rolling out. So... Thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in. Okay, there's like this process that's happening. This everydayness is just kind of like the things that you're used to. You know, you have maybe a routine or the things you go about, but you also have daemon, which is the devil technically. And it's showing me that there's something going on with a connection. So you could be connected to another person. But I was also seeing something here about, like, you could be going out and separating yourself from this energy. Especially for those of you, if this is in your immediate environment. If you're dealing with someone's shadowy energy, it's like you keep going to some kind of solitude or a place to... There's like something about that that's key for you. Also, the other message I was getting at the very beginning of this is for some of you guys, you could be so in your routine that you um, get bored or like complacent and then something happens that's kind of like shadowy. It could be an obsessive quality, like you go look at something and then all these negative energies generate within you. I was getting something like that, like almost an obsession with something. And it's asking you, spirit is talking about your attunement, staying in tune with your process and your flow. Because I think that something maybe keeps kind of pulling you out. We all have our vice, so this is no thing, but this kind of reflects in your connections in some way. I do think that there's a connection that keeps wanting to come in um it's the shadowy type of energy that you've been dealing with two of pentacles yeah it's almost like you're on one track and then you kind of shift out of that this is almost like a tension like you get distracted or you get pulled into something else. Oh, look, there you are. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So you're like into your routines. You might have to go in and make some kind of choice right now. Maybe there's a couple of different options that you have to choose from. Feels like it's going to come in and it might be like financial or something like that. We have the five of cups in the past. Oh, that's why you're. That's in the past though. Oh, we have the queen of cups. It's definitely a connection. So it's talking about something was done in the recent past. There's some regret. That's the Mars retrograde Gemini. So whatever happened, it I don't know whose side it's on. It's either yours or the others. Let's see. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's like a little bit back and forth on... This is in regards to a connection. Oh, and there is communication. Eight of Wands. Messages. Justice. Truth. Balance. 
farmer, all that good stuff. Okay, Seven of Cups. But coming out of the Seven of Cups. Okay, let's see. Four of Pentacles is in the mind. That's always like my miser energy. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles at the very end. Okay. What do I want to say with this? Okay, it's talking about a particular person that you're connecting with. Someone regrets something that they did, previous actions or something here, because I'm seeing, oh, and there could be an emperor in here somewhere, like a masculine energy who's in control in some way. Okay, here's what I'm seeing. There's some kind of masculine energy that's like filtering into this and it could have somehow like affected a particular connection and I think it wasn't good. If, for example, this is some kind of like patriarchal type masculine energy that likes to be dominant and in control, something about this got in the way between you and an, another connection. And I don't, I'm not totally sure how this affected. Like, for example, if a person had gone back to an energy, if there was like any kind of Stockholm syndrome involved, then that could have thrown a person out of touch with themselves. And then there was this process to try to get back. This is grief. Yeah, it's like regret or lost opportunities, but more than anything, it's grief and like deep disappointment. Some readers call it crying over spilled milk, possible. But when it's grief, grief takes you over. Grief has its own process emotionally. It's very intense. And I would never wish grief on anyone. It's a very debilitating, like, ugh, ugh. It's like a depth and you can't see anything outside of those, that thing that's lost or done and over with. It is done and over with. And for whoever's dealing with that, it's just kind of like a time to move forward. Because if you stay in that, you literally can miss out on things. And so here's the situation. Because I see what's going on here. This is either you, Taurus, or someone else that you're dealing with. Whatever is going on in this connection, there's like regrets from the action. Because, and there's possibly even a bit of rigidity you know, this isn't too off, far off from your side. There's something here. Oh. Hmm. Look, there's like potential collaborations. Three of Pentacles. There was something that was like working together. <clears throat> this... I feel like got in the way between a connection, whatever that means. I don't know why that's coming out like this, but it's saying like there was some kind of an arrangement or something like, because this is a collaboration right there. And it's showing me that something happened here and now there's a lot of regret. And now there's a person here going after their justice coming out of the clouds. So what do I want to say here? You're, oh wow, that is crazy. I just heard devil is in the details with the daemon and the everydayness. Um, there are things about your day-to-day -day that seem mundane or like non-important, but they're actually highly important because there's something here about your attunement and the process to move through this in some way. I can see right now you could be holding back a lot with the Four of Pentacles, like maybe ultra protective or something like that, because justice came into this situation. Here's the trick of it. In the past, like what can happen? The Two of Pentacles, it can be an energy of so, like, 
it's a person that while you're dealing with some kind of patriarchal energy of survival mode, because if this is a dominant kind of exploitative masculine energy, then it can cause survival mode to kick in from that entanglement. And what will happen with the Two of Pentacles? There's a person can that will literally like mirror neurons become more activated. And there's more of like a, the survival mode has kicked in because someone has fallen out of attunement. And then it's, what is the actual word for it? Not skimming. Um, is it? No. Masking. But the mirror neurons start mirroring everything. And that's the issue with this. Now, what's really tricky about this is that things get misinterpreted here with the Seven of Cups. Because now there's all this fantasizing about like, well, this is what happened and this is maybe the intention and it's not accurate. And that's going to be the whole trick of this situation because I can see... Um, someone could definitely be regretting their actions and it's coming through communication. It's possible there could be messages or things coming out about this, but here's the trick of the justice card. I do think there are messages coming in. Um, someone might be wanting justice, especially for an energy. Like this is a person who's maybe dealing with lethargy or just up in the clouds but it's saying like someone's coming in really powerfully to get justice in a situation and it's this process will be a slow moving one because i do feel like if there is an emperor involved i think that this like energy will try to throw in whatever to like revert justice from actual, actually happening or, or taking place. Do you know what I mean? So the Knight of Pentacles is the outcome is saying like, this is going to be a while to go. If, if you guys are dealing with a legal issue, anything like that, this will be a slow moving process. So it's kind of up to you. You have the opportunity to walk away. I can see it. You can walk away if you want and go out and look for another opportunity or a way to recover it, it, and ten of pentacles is available for those of you like and there's the king of pentacles right here there's like other opportunities or ways that are available you don't have to get this one thing from this one emperor because this emperor isn't going to budge and it's possible you won't either but i can see that you're in this process and you might be going a little bit back and forth on should I stick with this? Like, should I see it through to the end? Because it looks like it's been a pretty long, hard process. But the tr here's the thing. If you're dealing with someone in trauma, justice will, like, play out. When people take justice into their own hands and they decide to dish it on their own, that karma will come back around too. And you'll always be able to see if you were in the right or the wrong about a person and dealing them karma. It's not a tri like easy situation to judge because if you guys are having a lot of things come at you, like situations that pop up here and there during the Mars retrograde Gemini, just like communication issues, which I have to mention because communication is here, then it's like you have to gauge your response system because like I said, justice is always like a, you take an action and it's a cause and effect. So you can see immediately if it was the right choice because the karma will come back around to you. And if it was in your justice or in your favor, you're good to go. Nothing like, you know, but a lot of the times like you're possibly dealing with some kind of emperor energy which could be highly triggering you but the trick is if you've got multiple energies that you're dealing with you have some narcissistic or exploitative but you also could be dealing with other energies that you don't understand them or what's going on fully in the situation and that's when the karma will come back to you is that making sense so like if there's an innocent energy involved and something was done karmically to try to get justice then 
the innocent one, like the patriarchy, I would say generally there isn't a karma that comes back. When it's out of truth and it's not done from negative energy, it actually goes in your favor. I don't know if this is making any sense, but I've that's just what I've seen play out in energies. And that's why I think with this justice card, there's a lot of true colors showing and people being seen for who they truly, truly are. Like it's there's misinterpretations that are going to be going all across the board. And I can see there's like these things, there's this particular connection or relationship. There's like a back and forth happening. Like, should I do this? Should I do that? Here's possibly the truth. Someone could express a truth right or truth right there. And for a while, things have been in the cloud. Like if you've been, you know, the truth is going to come in to kind of clear up this illusion, I want to say. Hmm. Let me dive into the extended. I'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link. I'll see you over there. But Taurus, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.